Hello and welcome to my live recording session where I am showing you running my Oracle ADF Web Fusion app in the Payara server environment. First things first. I'm using Oracle Fusion Middleware J Developer version 12.2.1.4 and this is my project which is a Maven project Oracle Web Fusion project. It's it has a model, a view controller. But before I actually do the deployment, I need to make sure that I have deployment uh, platform Glassfish selected. Glassfish. Okay. And then libraries, almost nothing here. But my application assembly consists only my view controller. All other stuff is not needed. And now I just need to click OK and then go to the view controller project properties, select here uh, platform Glassfish 3.1, OK, properties, and then make sure that I have Glassfish 3.1, profile dependencies. And I have copied this BC4J embeds into the Payara application lib directory. So it's all mentioned in the block too, but it's kind of necessary to do that. So let's just click OK. And then let me just quickly reassure that I have all stuff which I needed. Um, hope it works. OK. Okay, now all is checked, build, rebuild project working set, because previously I used it for the web logic, now I just need to deploy to my Payara server, and let me just do the deployment like this, deploy to ER, I prefer it because then I have some interesting, interesting stuff to show you. And now it's creating the Payara package. I, I mean, it's creating a YAR enterprise architecture profile file. YAR file. Enterprise archive, archive file, actually. And this file I deploy then to my Glassfish server, which is already running. So let me go to my folder of my let me just quickly switch and let me just look it up ah, okay so this is my deployment I have 100 Mac <laughs> package which I need to deploy to my application server which is Payara and why I choose chosen Payara because Payara has pretty good support and the server is pretty stable, safe, secure and I can only recommend Payara for if you need to use uh, Oracle ADF because Payara have similar uh, specifications like uh, Glassfish almost one to one and it's pretty neat sure I can always try with Tommy I, I can always with try with WebSphere but, but then I will take spend time on the configuration and I think for me it works pretty well Payara and I know this server the best so let's just deploy the application so no advertisement from Payara uh, I love Payara because it's pretty cool server and I choose them because once again it's all about if something bra breaks here at Payara I can always take support from Payara because in Glassfish, I can only ask a question to the Eclipse community, and if the community responds to me back, uh, is positive, and it won't take too much time. But I don't think this is a suitable model for the businesses, which 24/7 uh, running the services need to run the services. So basically, I pick it my application, and I need to deploy to my server. 
and I hope it it, it will work. Sometimes it just takes time to unpackage the package and to deploy it to the server. Sometimes it breaks, sometimes you see a clear message something goes wrong. For me it was like, oh, 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 <laughs> oh gosh, I need to look into the logs of the server. But it's pretty neat how it works now. I hope it will work. It's uh, it's always a possibility that I have some jar which have a collision with the Payara server because, as I say stated in my previous blog, uh, that you if you have in your project the jar, but the jar already on the server, there some potentiality and probably a collision of two packages can happen. So make sure that you always deploy your project with all needed necessary stuff and if you have a jar at Payara server deployed previously you don't need it to put in your projects the same jar here we go the site was loaded actually the project was loaded and I can try to test it out uh, let me just go to the general and go down launch so this is kind of neat and copy close and I probably don't need this hardcore it's uh, not needed stuff let's just try and launch it and I hope it will work Sometimes it's kind of difficult, sometimes it's kind of neat. Let's just wait. I hope I hope it's Yeah, it's doing this crazy I have a loop stuff. I it actually cool that it happened right now because then I can show you how I will go about. So basically it's a kind of configuration mistake. Um the server says following uh, view row log it says uh, German okay let me just look it up connection closed okay so you see here he, it has problem with my with my um, web deployment stuff so how we how I will solve it and need to think about let me currently pause a little bit okay it's recording so one hour later I ca kind of perplexed and puzzled why it's so but one finally we gotcha in the glassfish based server in Payara 2 you need to specify your uh, web XML like like following that it's uh, consist of faces slash index and for error files I have slash faces slash error page but this is the main difference in web logic you, you have faces slash faces slash index and in the payara and glassfish you have faces slash index it's just a slash problem now let me just let me finally do build clean always clean before the build and then uh, rebuild the whole project build uh, rebuild project happening and now I finally can deploy it I can finally deploy it onto my server it's fi uh, creating ERR enterprise archive file and I hope it will work because <laughs> it's kind of nuts 
with regards of the effort to, to make it to deploy. But development part was great. Uh, Oracle uh, development, uh, Oracle R RDF development part was great. And just deployment kind of heavy lifting for me. And li let's just do it once again. I deploy my enterprise archive file to the page. It's a processing. Now it's in the deployment mode and I deploy uh, the file. Mm, let's just wait a little bit. It's once again probably one s 100 and, so and something megabytes. I did not measure it, but yeah. I put this extra information into the into the block so you can al always look it up. But it can and probably will change because it's a kind of worrying stuff and the web logic i can put slash faces slash index but in the payara they add a, at adding a slash in the programmatic style and they basically got some nasty bug because of the slashes it's kind of worrying because it should be a standard if you want to have deployment slash faces slash index no more no better but it's kind of worrying because now if you use glassfish you need to put it so application is deployed i can open it and then i go finally to to the launch i take the address once again the server running locally on my machine and I write here localhost localhost and it should work it should work let me think about a little bit yeah, it did fina finally catch it up. So, this is basically what I want uh, to deploy on my site. So, it's kind of pretty easy website. Yeah, hello to the Kenbeck. Uh, I'm kind of fan of Kenbeck methodology. But the point is, this is my site deployed into the Glassfish server. It's a uh, Oracle ADF. Uh, web fusion application and it works pretty neat i can change the stuff i can look uh, it's basically what you're actually seeing for the first time so things like that double click generates pre pretty pretty uh, ke keep it simple and stupid method and i have here f a lot of different stuff basically i'm black Black, uh, uni um, black box testing and this will be on my blog then I have another blog, blog reviews I thought about uh, to implement um, in a Oracle ADF of the whole content based system but um, I have no time for this, sorry people uh, but still why should I create block uh, content system in ADF when it's already uh, can be done in with other technologies. I kind of pragmatic man, and all pages. Yeah, even I added capture, but the capture is like yeah, kind of stuff for research purposes. Uh, they have links to my uh, profiles. Probably it will work. Let me just uh, click on Xing. Probably it will open the Xing page, and then I actually need to go back and. All right, so portfolio, it's kind of in regards to what I have done, oh, my previous open source projects, still in development, still kind of interesting stuff here, public, so, and that's it, there's something, uh, legacy stuff, I don't want to bore you, and, 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 so it's working pretty fast, like for myself do do I produce some 
uh, errors probably probably have some s minor uh, minor minor issues and yeah this message kind of did not for me but I'm setting this stuff from the glass glassfish um, web deployment but it's kind of not necessary so basically that's it I successfully deploy deployed my page I have no experience when I put something wrong I will get the error page page not found go back to main page it should go back to main page I hope it can do this and oh it's thinking why it's thinking <laughs> uh, let me just look it up in my log what just ac actually happened no it's not a f n error on my side on the server side go back to main page interesting maybe I should let me just quickly look at what just happened it's still the site still in development it's kind of uh, okay but I don't see any 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 pretty hard mistakes so what just actually happening <laughs> I'm not sure he need to look it uh, look the site up yeah but this is kind of stuff which can always happen during the presentation let me quickly pause and look it up what just happened but you see small uh, small things like in the regards of the deployment you need to care be we uh, yeah to make you need to make sure that you know what just happening and I don't think that I'm catching this mistake sure what to do with this mistake I need to look it up so anyway I will try to reconnect like in one hour probably see you soon okay <laughs> it's kind of strange uh, um, I have done nothing uh, but it kind of maybe I need to clean my cache maybe it has problem to with, with my um, but now it works and I just need to put here something different and go back to main page and now it's working it's probably cache problem I didn't I done nothing to correct this and you saw it live so to speak and no mistake on my side only this message enable to set request character I need just to look it up maybe it's like I don't know the problem with which is ongoing uh, but I'm not sure that is so minor issue and uh, let me quickly uh, uh, recollect my thoughts about um, you see I can go my pages pretty fast does not take too much time to load the contents basically it's uh, how it's how it works even even if uh, this page is not a part of the ADF it's like in if uh, I in frame but if I go for example I don't know if to my um, social network 
just need to yeah and then back and then I put something I don't know here I don't know something like following CCC it does not catch it and I think let me think oh now I now I catching some Okay, now I see some. It's still in development. I think I need to catch it. Uh, the S Locket Session Manager is already registered. I think I just need to uh, debug this and look it up. Just look it up. And in the hope that it is working. But I I won't clearly if I if I produce it Yep it has a continuous conditional loop but if I have here I don't know here like following this is uh, he is able to catch it. Does not uh, he does not catch after the faces. If I put wrong page under the faces, let me like I don't know index in this uh, JSF, yeah. So still in development, but you clearly see it it works and it works as expected. Uh, f I mean, it's loading page I can send probably email. Actually, I can put here like I don't know something something and uh, I'm using Java mail to send my stuff uh, and it's actually sending then send your message and then it should yeah and I probably will be able to receive the message Let me just do it. Like I don't know. Here and okay. Let's receive the message. Still in development. Side uh, kind of in development and. This is what I uh, let me just quickly move it. So this is what I got, and this was sent it from my page, and it's working. So basically, kind of neat. Still, still uh, this uh, after the faces. If the if I put wrong page after the faces, it still lands onto the foil. But let me actually to pause last mo last time to pause and then introduce you with solution okay so finally i managed <laughs> yeah it's still in development my side but basically i added this page to my project and now it somehow works let me just quickly load my page and all right um yeah it's still if you think what the what the problem can be uh i added additional libraries and they are mentioned in the block a lot of libraries from the uh, web logic and yeah basically I catched uh, something but it's now looks like this 
and just no whatsoever error message on the server side actually the only one message which I get is about where it is uh, let me just MDS lockage and face let's let me just quickly close it and then it does not block my site anymore it still can happen but you see uh, I think it's uh, actually something bug in the framework <laughs> not on my side and now I managed it to show it to you and the message which I get it looks like uh, this this is what I get this is the only part which makes my head spin because I I have no influence of uh, to this locket uh, locket transaction manager, and my site's working. If I close it, other one open, it's maintain itself. Once again, uh, what I have mentioned, um, this is my kind of block in the process. Mm, here are libraries which I additionally added to I added it out of the necessary because I uh, always received some um, unchecked uh, exceptions class not found class not found even if I didn't done anything so I deployed my app but then I got a exception but anyway I mentioned this in my blog I removed welcome file and now it's working pretty obvious I can do anything what I have planned to do with my site but this is kind of interesting stuff which happens and the page is working even if I even if I, um, I have error pages basically if you don't know if you do things like that try to just locks up but uh, I still managed to load my site uh, and let me just uh, oh let me conclude it works on Payara some work must be done but I have to release it to public because people who want to run Oracle ADEF they will get it and then it will be only small maybe uh, support from Oracle to, f to, f to fix this bug because I mean I don't think that is bug on my side uh, it's only one only one uh, exception which I produce uh, when I deploy my app I have zero um, zero um, I have zero exceptions I don't receive any exceptions and basically that's it for me and this goes uh, like this and I'm pretty happy with my with my result, my site always responds to this uh, call pretty fast, as you see. And even if I try to use it in, like, I don't know, another version of Opera, uh, let me just do that. And the same goes to the Chrome, pretty neat. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty fast. Uh, but on the server side there were there were uh, some checked ch checked checked actually checked exceptions uh, but I managed to basically uh, to bypass them just by closing uh, the 
by closing the dependency issues and yeah this is this is this is maybe uh, like I don't know maybe um, basically stuff which can happen if you plan to use it on applica another application server but I hope I hope this uh, bug will be fixed because this I get this is actually what I get when I try to open uh, another page which actually does not exist it happens only when I wish to have I don't know say uh, zero things like that and then I get this uh, message that is stuck but when I close other side and open the page like so and just type here it's once again uh, approachable and for me it works it works uh, sure in production it's not so cool but it works for any reason and I'm pretty satisfied with that but if Oracle have patch in the next version for this kind of problem it will be cool and I will do <laughs> another work to manage it and basically that's it for me and I finally finalize this recording session uh, thank you for watching bye bye